Beyond um, a healthy diet of getting enough calcium and vitamin D, what also other things that you can do to promote good bone health is your physical activity and exercise. So Osteoporosis Canada has uh, published, uh, endorsed some guidelines regarding exercise and uh, bone health, and you can find this on the Osteoporosis Canada website. And the recommendation in terms of exercise is that walking is not enough. So, you know, there's always that message about weight-bearing exercising, uh, exercises and walking is important. Yes, it is important, but we know that that in itself is not enough. So you need to incorporate exercises that also work on muscle strengthening at least twice a week, um, exercises that challenges your balance. Examples of that would include something like Tai Chi. Physical activity that also uh, work on back extensor muscles and good posture are also important. Um, and so there's a lot of studies that have shown that good physical activity help prevent bone loss and also help prevent falls. And we know that prevention of falls leads to, um, you know, decrease in osteoporotic fractures. In addition to the physical activity, as I mentioned, is also being careful on fall prevention, um, strategies to offload the spine, so being careful on how you bend over and pick up, pick up things are very important, and twisting motions if you do have osteoporosis, because uh, one of the most common osteoporotic fractures are in fact spine fractures, and majority of those fractures actually occur spontaneously and are silent, meaning that um, people don't even experience pain and they may only experience height loss over time or develop that kind of hunched posture over time. Um, so it's also very important on how you do your kind of daily activity when it comes to bending and picking things up and twisting motions. Well, I often tell my patients that you could think of bone as a dynamic tissue. It's true that a lot of people think of bone as a static uh, tissue, but it's a living, you know, living tissue just like your skin. So I like to use the analogy of your bones to your skin, that the bones are always constantly going through a remodeling cycle where old, uh, old bone tissue is being sloughed off and new bone tissue is being developed just like your skin does. It goes through this turnover. So if you cut yourself, you get healing of that cut on your skin. Similarly, the bones does a, a similar thing on a very uh, more slower cycle. Um, so day to day, there's going to be wear and tear on your bones, little micro cracks that need to be repaired, and you need new fresh bone tissue. And so that remodeling cycle occurs all the time. So when someone does weight-bearing activities, um, so in areas where you're using a lot of, um, of uh, activity and there is impact, uh, it also stimulates more bone growth in those areas, so that's why weight-bearing activities are, are a good thing, um, but also in making sure you incorporate those other exercises I mentioned of, of muscle strengthening as, weight, as well as balance exercises.